Hello, this is Saranya. Today I'm going to tell a story of Ravana. Ravana speaking his thoughts out one day before the battle where he faces Rama. The enemy is near. I could see the end, though I didn't want to accept it. Yesterday I lit the funeral pyre of my son. Now there is nothing left other than to fight Rama to the end, either his or mine. But, but what was I fighting for? My empire had collapsed, my son, my brother had died. My queen's honor had been dragged in the mud. What was left now? Asura empires had all gone down to Devas. Despite our economic, cultural, and technical superiority, I, Ravana, had built bigger things. Magnificent temples, wider roads, better ports, larger ships, and my own flying mission. <laughs> I made my country the richest in the world. But all I got back was betrayal. Betrayal from my own men. Betrayal from my own brother. The tragedy is that I still don't understand what I did wrong. Where it all started. Did it all start with my sister Surpanaka? Hmm. At least that is what my country thinks. But it all started with the birth of my daughter Sita. How stupid was I to believe my little daughter will bring Elomen to the entire Asura race and ask my men to kill her? But I was relieved when I came to know that she was not dead. My daughter was adopted by a kind king. A Deva king, but still a king. She grew up as a princess. I wanted to go and get her back, but I never had the courage to confront her. After all, I had failed her. I even went in disguise to see my daughter Suyamvara. Huh. Suyamvara, a foolish tradition by the Devas. The father of the bride announces a contest for eligible prince. Was a bride a prize to be won in a contest? How terrible! But what else can one expect from a semi-civilized tribe? I believed a society is called civilized only when the women are treated well. So I am Vara. But I saw my daughter's marriage. Happiness in her eyes. I was so content. But still, I told my men to keep a watch on them. Later, I came to know Rama had to throw away his inheritance because of his stepmother and had to go into forest for 14 years with his brother. But my precious daughter was dragged with them. I was shattered. When I came to know that my daughter Sita was crying every day, that is when I decided that time has come for the Asura princess to get back to her land. Rama sent a Vanara as a messenger, a Vanara. Despite not showing any respect to my ministers in my darbar, he burnt my city, not even considering women and children in my city. It was a nightmare, total confusion everywhere. My soldiers were busy putting out the fire and in the distance I see a monkey man carry my queen Mandodari on his back. And then drama stood at our gates and everything changed. I lost my brother, I lost my son. What kind of a barbarian sends his brother late at night to kill the prince when he was doing his prayers? My son was killed, not in the battlefield, but when he was doing his prayers. I heard the cruel laughter of my daughter Sita. My dear daughter, you think I deserved all this? 
You think I deserved all this? I just lost you love for you. I'm ready to lose everything, but this time I'm gonna stand up for you. This time I'm gonna stand up for you, my daughter. Hmm. You will know what kind of a husband you got. One even the protection of your father ends. Every person who had won a war in whatever means had become a god or avatar, because history is always written by the victor. Hmm. I realized what Brahma told me once. He proposed one should shed their nine emotions: anger, pride, jealousy, happiness, sadness, love, ambition, selfishness. or in his terms the nine thinking heads for the sake of success i did not realize it then i wish i could begin everything again i want to build my country again i want to do good to my people again but life is too short for a second chance I know death is the halting point, and there is nothing beyond. No atma, no heaven, no hell, no god, no afterlife. Nothing beyond. But given a chance, I would love to come back. I am in confusion. I want to go play my veena for my peace of mind, and then I would meet Rama in the battlefield. thank you